They already heard how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah. How she marked you as the enemy. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family. And now you have turned your back on it. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself. And you squandered it. You there. Surrender this one to me now. And you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. What? No! You keep such shrewd companions, Shadowheart. A shame you didn't learn from them. Seize her. help lying there thinking about my parents before you stirred. More than I thought would be possible, considering the short time we had. I gave them the release they asked for, freed myself from Shah's grasp just as they wished for. But there's moments where I think I'd trade that to be able to see them again, talk to them again. There's so much only they could have told me. But that's all gone now. I've got to move on. Find some place for myself. I was hoping you'd say that. Whatever lies ahead will be far less daunting if I have you. It could be just like old times. Well... Hopefully not exactly like old times. I think I've had enough camping and mortal peril for one lifetime. I was afraid for the briefest moment when I woke this morning. I didn't know where I was. I thought perhaps it had all been a dream, stopping the absolute, saving my parents. Then I realized I was in your arms. We did it. Everything's perfect. Almost, anyway. After everything that happened, with my parents, with Shah, I didn't think I was owed any happiness. I did things. Things that fill me with shame now. There's at least one person who doesn't want me happy. Shah. I felt the wound last night. While you were sleeping. Like some sadistic child de-winging a fly. She can try to twist the knife all she likes. I know I can survive her worst. Nothing she does can sour the fact that I have my family again. Thank you. Sometimes I have to remind myself of that very thing. It's nice to hear someone else say it. You and I... Our time together has been very dear to me. I had hoped maybe there might be more to come. I'm hoping to find some place I can settle down and stay close to my parents. Somewhere quiet, where they can find peace and gaze at the night sky. If that sounds at all appealing, then I'll keep a spot for you. It'll be just like old times. Last night was 
an exception. I hope you understand that. The battle's won. Our journey is over. And I need to take my place at Lady Shah's side. How could I forget? A pleasant, vivid memory. But now I have to move on. All this has been to bring me to this point. And now I'm finally here. Thanks in no small part to you. Lady Shah's work is never ending. I've cleansed the ranks of her followers, leaving only the faithful, the worthy. Now is the time to spread her word. So many have suffered greatly in recent times, gripped by pain and loss. They will rush to the Dark Lady's embrace. It was special, but also fleeting, as it was always going to be. Do you know why I love Night Orchids? In part, because they do not last. They bloom where few ever see them. And in that moment, they're perfect. Then, they return to the darkness that birthed them. I am glad for the time we had together. There is much I still cannot truly remember. But I will never forget you. you are the... Last night was perfect. Almost perfect. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. After everything that happened, with my parents, with Shah. I didn't think I was owed any happiness. I did things. Things that fill me with shame now. There's at least one person who doesn't want me happy. Shah. I felt the wound last night. While you were sleeping. Like some sadistic child de-winging a fly. Thank you. Sometimes I have to remind myself of that very thing. It's nice to hear someone else say it. You and I... Our time together has been very dear to me. I had hoped maybe there might be more to come. It's not an exciting life that I lead, but... I'd like you to be a part of it. I doubt I'd have anything at all if it wasn't for you. I'm hoping to find some place I can settle down and stay close to my parents. Somewhere quiet, where they can find peace and gaze at the night sky. If that sounds at all appealing, then I'll keep a spot for you. It'll be just like old times. Last night was perfect. Saving the world is quite the aphrodisiac. Well, we may have put a stop to the Absolute and rid ourselves of the Tadpoles, but too many of my own concerns went untended as a result. Now I must try to rectify that. See to my own affairs. Little point in saving the world only to have no clear place in it afterwards. This is something I have to do for myself. What we shared was special to me. But I think our paths diverge from here on. But who knows? Perhaps we'll meet again. Though, hopefully not after being abducted. Be good. And if you can't be good, just don't get caught. Last night was... an experience. But I don't think you've changed quite as much as some might think. I'd recognize that vigor anywhere. It sounds like the city's trying to get back on its feet already. 
normal life is returning. Which means things are about to become decidedly more difficult for you. Perhaps you could wear a mask. Say you're a leper or have taken religious vows to conceal your face. No. And I wouldn't ask you to, in truth. You're living proof of the sacrifice you made. But I fear others may not see it that way. After what this city's been through, people will scarcely tolerate cuttlefish at the fishmonger's stall, never mind a full-blown mind flare in their midst. Do you know what this means? You deserve to be vaunted. Adored. Statues in your image should stand on every square. A whole generation of babies should be named in your honor. But it will not be so. All those people you saved. Most of them will never know what you did. But you know. And so do I. I'll never forget. I need to get you out of here. It was difficult enough smuggling you in here covered in cloaks. It'll only get worse as normalcy returns. I can't. At least, not right now. I'm sorry. After everything that happened with my parents, with Shaw, I need time to myself. Time to find myself. That would call for an awful lot of discretion, you know. Enough to make even a former Sharon take pause. But, after all we've been through, I really should know better than to doubt you, shouldn't I? All right. Let's try. We've gotten this far after all, just... Let me do the talking. You'd be amazed what a pretty face can get away with. What in all the sweet hells are you doing? 